Party, Yoto <laughs> Our NCC conference was convened every six months. Every six months we used to call the NCC conference. This is our uh, part of our uh, routine uh, meeting. So all 32 divisions all over the state, the tenth member from each division, which uh, we have selected member of central committee, which is called MCC member, from each division, tenth delegate will be participate in our conference and in that conference we have uh, talked out the agenda most important there are three agenda we have already uh, talked out one agenda is present political situation we'll discuss in detail we'll take the report from all the division level division president secretary also attended this meeting so we have a uh, 32 at present 32 different committee all over the state they will participate in the discussion and second agenda we have uh, we will discuss forthcoming ADC by election which is uh, going to help maybe next month or next up to two months we'll most probably in July there are by election of BC village committee that will be, will be discussed and also third agenda we have taken up the, the forthcoming state conference our state conference is already due. We have already uh, due time. Due to election, we have deferred a date. Therefore, maybe most probably next uh, next month or next after two months, the state conference will be held. In that, in this regard, also we'll discuss when to help, how to help, where to help. This thing will be discussed in our in the conference. So, I believe that it's the right time that we have convened a meeting. Also, we'll take the stock of the situation in the state. And recent uh, election, parliamentary election also will discuss our performance, our activities, which we have got the, the result, which is unexpected. There are some, maybe some drawback. So in detail, we'll get a report from the all our grassroots leaders, different level. We'll get a report from them. Therefore, Today conference is very important and also uh, the state election by election of this uh, council, a is also going to be discussed. So I think it is very important and also 
will take the stock of the situation. The, our Stipra state also now push pull violence also going on. In this regard also we have to discuss how to tackle the situation. Then IPFT has you know we have a recognized party, we have a state recognized party. We have uh, eight MLS and two ministers. We have allied government in the state, BGP, IPP government. That also will be discussed. Therefore, I think today conference is very important, and people are looking forward our meeting. Then we'll, in this conference also we'll, we'll take the decision, so called the plan, action plan will be taken up in this conference. Therefore, I think uh, it is very necessary to 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 inform the media as well as our people of the state that IPFT is a regional party and recognized party and IPFT is the only party in Tripura who is working for the state, for the people, especially for the indigenous people. As you know, our demand is only one demand from since existence of our IPFT. We have one agenda, one agenda of demand that is called the creation of statehood based on uh, schedule area of Tripura. So this is only one demand. So we highlight this issue also. and. Uh, People will realize that our IPFT working in the field, working in the, in the grassroots level, and somehow this time we, we have so many drawbacks. There are a lot of some problem in, when within our party. That's also will be discussed in detail. So I, I thanks all the people who participate in this conference. Thank you.